So oh, yeah, the, the death angel. The death angel. So you have the turn the water to blood. You said uh, it rained hail that turned into fire. Yeah. Um, the, the, the staff turned into a snake. Um, you said um, the boils. You said... We said the river of blood, right? Yeah. And what else did you just say? The locusts. The locusts that made, created the famine, the flies yeah. that made the food and you know, everything, all that famine. And then um, the night. Remember, it was night for yeah. three days, darkness for three days. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the, the death angel. All of those wonders and miracles God performed in order to let Pharaoh know that God was God and not him. And, of course, Pharaoh's heart was hardened. But these are the blessings that Israel have to thank God for. And the testimony in order to testify uh, these uh, things that God has done. You have to look back on these things and remember these things and be grateful and have an attitude of gratitude. God didn't have to do it, but he did. They were in um, bondage for years, and the, God heard their cry and came to deliver them. And so uh, people have to remember just because uh, God performed a miracle in one point of stage in your life, and you say you might go some down some stages and you feel like, oh, you need something else. You Now you still have to be grateful for what he's done. He'll, he's going to come to your rescue each and every time. It's not going to come when we want it. But it's always on time. They had to wait over 400 years for God to hear their voice, you know, and their cries. And so we can't say, oh, it's taking too long. Because when things happen, it's when things happen. But it's, it's always on time. Yeah. And so, yeah, um, we're talking about being thankful to God and learning how to uh, be uh, a testimony on his behalf for all that he has done to those who don't know of him, to other religions. It says here that we have to go out Uh, I don't want to see myself, all right? Okay. Uh, phrases and clauses. To learn more involved grammar concepts. It's necessary to understand the difference between phrases and clauses. A single word may be expressed. Hi. When we add another word to that word, it forms a phrase, correct? Yeah. How many? What does a phrase consist of? <coughs> a phrase like mm -hmm. doing something. No. Like a phrase versus a single word. Oh, a phrase. A phrase is like a don't put off something tomorrow. I forget. Two or more words. 
Sure, like yes. when we're looking for preposition words, mm-hmm. and then they have a prepositional phrase. Don't judge your books by its cover. Is that a phrase? Did you hear what I said? Are you listening? Yeah. I said a word versus two or more words. That's all you got to know. Oh, okay. A phrase is two or more words. When we add another word to that word, it forms a phrase. Very high. See? It went from high to very high. You get that? It's a phrase. Two or more words. Okay. Amen. When we we can add additional words, it will remain a phrase as long as we do not add both a subject and a verb. That is entirely too strong. Um, I'm doing self care. You. We don't do self care in class, ma'am. We ain't in class. We at home. This is when it's my home. We come to class. I'm just kidding. You bark for the bees. She tried to want to, want to be disappointed in us, but it's not. <laughs> it's not our fault. She did it. She made the choice. We can add additional. <laughs> What is the phrase, Michaela? What I'm doing. What is the phrase? I just told Mariah, you weren't even listening. <laughs> 12th grade, you weren't listening. So, you know where she going to graduate from. I'm hot. Uh, we no, can add additional words. It's it will remain a phrase as long as we do not add both a subject and a verb. Ooh, we. By definition, a phrase is a group of words that oh, does not have both subject and verb. What did I just say? Just subject, subject and verb. I said more than that. You said you said you can add. Don't add more than a subject and verb. And it will it stay a what? It will a, phrase. a phrase. You, you better you better be listening. See? We is. We is. We're not from one that. <laughs> no, not saying that. No. Not, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying we're from we're from the old street. Yes, you are. Actually. No, we you are live from, there. We from. Yeah. From, yeah. Yes. I'm from the bougie neighborhood. <laughs> and I'm Omaha. from a half bougie neighborhood. What? By so, definition, Omaha. a phrase is a group of words that does not have both subject and verb. Example: very high in the I sky, right sailing name. very high in the sky. A clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb. Kel, does this provide thickness? What is a clause? Playing. Hey! What is a clause? What is a clause? Kaya. A clause? It makes you. It makes your nails. What is a clause? Clause and effect. Kid cheating. I'm not cheating. I have that. I do not. A clause. A clause is like a, you know, pro- is it a problem? It is a group of words. A I already problem. said it. Problem. That so, contains a subject words. and a verb. So. Before we so it's a, ate lunch. So it's an adjective, right? What is the subject no, in that sentence? Uh, what would you say again? Before we ate lunch. Lunch, lunch. is a subject. Nope. What? Dinner. I mean breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Before we ate lunch, what is the subject? Breakfast. We we ate. Brunch. What is the subject? Before we ate. 
No. We ate before lunch <laughs> and dinner. We had brunch. <laughs> Second dinner. <laughs> Second dinner. We had brunch. We. Thank you. We is the subject. <laughs> what is so funny? I think I did. What is the verb? We is the subject. <laughs> <laughs> what is the verb? Eight. Eight. Thank you. Eight and love no crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> so, Raya, who are the countries that are at war right now, currently? Uh, it's two or th three sets, but go ahead. Okay. Russia and Ukraine, uh -huh. and it's North Korea with China, uh -huh. and, and they're in the Bible. Oh yeah, um, Israel and Iran. Okay, yeah, Iran. Yeah. How did I uh, give you a clue about that one early today? <laughs> well, How did I give you a clue about that? Well, Iran. I said what I say. I'm like you were running. I said it starts with an I. <laughs> I ran. And they be running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And okay, so who are the two presidential candidates that are running for president this year? Right now? Right yeah. Now? Uh Kamala. Uh huh. Or Kamala. Uh huh. What's Harris. her last name? Yep. Uh huh. And Donald Trump. There you go, Kamala Harris, Donald Trump. Is there anything else I need to ask you? What else was there? I'll find some more questions. We're going to ask you some more questions later. But thank you so much. How old are you? 11. And she knows about the things of the world, uh, current news, and disasters that are going on. Do you know in the, any of the states that were affected by the, the hurricanes? The hurricanes? Did you know any of them? Did you know? Uh, Ohio? Uh-uh. No? Okay, then. Hurricanes. The big floods that was happening? Did you hear any other states that were affected by that? Well, I did hear it. Mm -hmm. But, like, you don't. I don't remember okay. or recall anything. Okay. Wasn't it, um... Where's the one state? Uh, Florida, a part of Florida, and there were uh, some other Texas or something. There were some like, other states. Wasn't that like a like a storm in Texas? A there, part of there Texas? has been, yeah, there has been some, but yeah. Okay, well, we thank you so much for this lovely time that you've answered these questions and lets me know that you are aware of this world and the things that are in it. And thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.